This is the worst year for new developers. In this video, I'm going to break it down why and what you can do to go in and actually be successful this year. If you want to get a job. Now, if you just want to go out here and be coding for fun and do this as a hobby, don't watch this video. This is for people that want to get results. Let's get started. All right, guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again one more time. So let's break it down. Why is it that this is the worst year for new developers? Number one reason why this is the worst year for new developers is that businesses are not making money like that. Straight up, the economy is down. <laughs> Y'all put biting up there. <laughs> yeah. And as you guys can see, you know, gas prices is up, food is up, things, small little items that used to be $2 are now like $4, $5. You go to a pharmacy, you try to buy a cream or something like that. Something that used to be $6, now it's $12. Like shit is up. And all of this is a domino effect that's happening right now. Because everything is so expensive right now, people are not spending. Every business that you could think of is losing 20 to 30 percent of their revenue this year okay that's just how it is now it's because people don't want to spend you know you guys might be the average american right you don't have that extra bread that you had two years ago that you had three years ago because now everything is so expensive you got to go in and prioritize on what you're actually going to spend your money and that's happening from everybody everybody from you know the poorest to the richest, <laughs> the guys that got the big money, they ain't buying those Rolex, those APs, those Lamborghinis, those Rolls Royce. People are actually bringing them back to the dealership. So again, it's everyone being affected by the economy. And let's bring it back to us developers. Yeah, because these companies don't have that extra budget like they used to, they are not giving new opportunities to the new developers that are coming in especially for software engineering roles, front end developer roles, right? Um, even, you know, some back end uh, roles, right? Full stack, right? They, they're now being more selective. And when I say being more selective, I mean, they're looking for a deal. They're looking for people with experience and extra skills that might bring some value to the company. Maybe some marketing, maybe some design, right? maybe knowing one or two extra skills as the, a developer, right? For example, someone might say, well, I'm just a front end guy. Guess what? This year you need to know about some back end, right? Uh, but I, I'm a back end guy. I'm, uh, I don't need to be making things to look nice and pretty. I, I just build the logic and man, give me a database. Guess what, my guy? You're going to have to go in and learn about the front end too, right? Like now you're going to have to come in and give more than what you was able to give before and just get a job and for new developers it's even harder because now they definitely looking for experience and i don't want to scare you guys i just want to go in and open your eyes to what's happening now again we all see what's happening on youtube we all see what's happening on twitter and instagram tiktok next js server side render components for react this this and that everybody's hype about this thing cool some people like it some people love it right but guess what one thing that you can notice is everyone is paying attention to react and everyone is <laughs> basically learning react right now okay now again i don't want to throw shade on react because i love react i use it every single day but what that tells me is that everyone is doing the exact same thing. So when people are going into the job market and they don't have experience and companies are looking to get a deal, right? So not only do you need to know front end, you need to know back end, and you also need to know from back end, you need to know the front end, right? And you might need some marketing or you might need some design skills depending on the role, right? And I'm looking at all of these things that's happening on social media, that tells me people are paying attention to the wrong things this is not the moment to go for the hype stack this is not the year for that that was 2021 that was 2020 when everything was up you know people were getting higher at coinbase getting two hundred thousand dollars and and you know and this this and that and people were getting higher left and right at amazon like yeah <laughs> that was back then right now is grind time 
So you got to come in with an open mind. You need to start paying attention to the things that people are not looking at, that there's a high demand for, but no one else wants to learn it or don't want to specialize in it. I give you a great example. I, I, again, I might sound like a broken record on this channel, but you got things like Drupal. It's a, a high demand for developers that do Drupal. Angular, you have Java, you have C Sharp. No one is paying attention to those things right now. Okay. You have Shopify, all right? More than ever, people are creating online stores. Everybody wants to become an entrepreneur. Everybody wants to go in and sell a product online. Where do you think people sell their products on? Shopify. So again, if you're like thinking, I'm like, what should I be learning? What should I be paying attention to? You need to be paying attention to the things that's going to get you a job. This is not the year to go for the hype stack. This is not the year for you to go in and try to impress a couple of dweebs online and be like, man, I'm, I'm part of this. No, nah, this is not the year for that. You don't need to get validation from nobody. You don't need nobody to come in and, 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 and give you some kudos and give you some likes. This is the year that you need to put some money in your pocket. This is the year that you want to go in and build experience. Okay. AI is around the corner. And again, I don't like to scare people with AI, but it is around the corner. Last thing you want to be is one of those people that's out here. Oh, shoot. There's no more jobs and, and things got automated in this industry and in this industry and in this industry. Oh, now let me start learning how to code. By that time, it's too late. If you ain't get in by that time, it's going to be too late. If you don't have experience by that time, it's going to definitely be too late. You want to get in now. You want to build that experience now. You want this year to be a, a profitable year. This is not the year for you to sit down and be like, well, hopefully I get a job. This is not the year to be playing checkers. This is the year to play chess, play your right moves. Say, hey, there's a job opportunity here. Let me go learn this skill. Let me go in, get this job, build experience six months, a year, year and a half. Then next year, apply to whatever dream job you want, because now you qualify for it and you have experience. But if you're out here, like walking like an NPC, walking at the wall and be like, well, I'm, I'm just following what the zombie hordes is going. Everybody going to next GS and reacting. And, and this is what everyone's doing. It must be the right thing. This is not the year for that. Everyone is doing that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get passionate. Don't blame me. Okay. But look, everything has a solution. Right? Every problem has a solution. Um, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Right, this year is, is finicky, man. Right? It's, it's shaky, janky, right? It's a weird year. But what you want to do is again go into those roles that's gonna help you build experience. Again, I'll give you an example for web development, right? You have content editor, HTML email developer, webmaster, web producer. Um, again, there's some junior roles for front end development, right? Uh, probably working at agencies and working with, you know, something like WordPress, Shopify, Drupal, right? You could still be a front-end developer in those positions. Some, some of you guys want to become a front-end developer so bad, but don't understand that you're going to be doing front-end development in every single platform. So it doesn't really matter. You're still doing front-end development. And if you're so attached to like doing React and the hype stack, right? You could do that shit on your own. You could do that on the side, right? You could go in, do that on the side, but let's guarantee that this year you get higher, right? I don't see a good opportunity right now going with the hype stack. I just don't see it. Uh, there's too much competition. Think about it like this. When somebody applies to one of those roles, there's about 500 other applicants or even more than that, that already apply to those roles. Now to the roles that I just mentioned for web development, you might see maybe 50 people applying to it. What does that mean? That if you have a good portfolio and you have some solid projects, they're going to actually get to see your work. And because you're going to have a good portfolio and good projects, they're actually going to call you in for an interview. Again, okay? now again, that's what we're going for. Let's try to get as many interviews as possible so we could get higher as quickly as possible. And also too, there's some, a couple of other opportunities out here. Again, like C sharp, right? 
I mentioned that before, uh, but C Sharp is very important right now. You have C Sharp for web development, right? You have C Sharp for software development. You also have for game development. You also have for XR development. Okay, this is something that we're going to be talking about, in, you know, a lot in this channel this year. C Sharp, right? ByteDance, learning Unity, right? Um, and, and some of you guys might say, well, Joe, are you telling me to become a game developer? No, we're talking about XR, right? We're talking about creating experiences. And I truly believe that this is one of those technologies that really is going to be all over the place this year okay again apple's dropping a new glasses what does that mean that opens it up to the public to really want to go in and start using this ar apps and you know vr apps etc right and companies are going to be flocking to this type of applications to try to go in and create those type of apps and they're going to need those developers so you could start your journey as a c-sharp developer working with web development and by next year when this whole thing blows up you're going to be ready because you already know the language and you already know your way through unity etc so this is like some of the things that i believe that you guys should definitely be paying attention to so again guys there's a lot of different ways you guys can tackle these problems that are happening now this year for new developers but just keep in mind you cannot follow the zombie horde okay where everybody is going you do not want to go that way not in this year right because you want to stand out you want to be able to be seen you want to be able to go in and say when i apply to a company i want the company to look at my work i want them to go to my portfolio i want them to look at my projects and judge me for the skills that i have today right and give me the opportunity to get an interview and in the interview i'm gonna go in and explain my projects explain everything that i can do for them and then from there hopefully get a job but if you're going where the zombie hordes is going guess what you're not going to be able to even be seen this is why so many people you look into the comments of all of the most popular youtubers and this is no shade to them i love them right those are my peoples too right but the truth is you go into the comment section and there's so many people in there that you will see that's like yo i can't find a job the industry saturated i'm applying to 20 different jobs i built 20 different projects no one is looking at me there's too many people doing the same thing yeah all going for the same role and guess what companies now can flex and say you know what let's take our time with it let's choose the best of the best and what does that do that leaves out the new developers trying to get in because they're no longer being seen so again go ahead guys definitely you know look at this video analyze it right look at it from the perspective of i'm trying to help you guys out and this is not for the guys that already have experience you already have experience you're already a react developer you are a front-end developer you're working at a company this video is not for you this video is for new people that's coming in so again i know some of you guys are very passionate too and you're like man don't talk about my language don't talk about my framework yeah i love that right I totally understand it, but understand this is advice for new developers coming in. This is not for you guys. Okay. So again, guys, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Guys, if you want to learn how to code, you want to get into the game, right? This is why I created this platform. This platform is built for new people, new beginners, people that are coming in from all walks of life, right? You're an Uber driver, you work at Walmart, you work as an accountant, you work as a assistant manager, as T-Mobile, and you wanna get into the tech industry, you wanna become a developer, like this is the platform for you. You get what I'm saying? Like this is a platform for um, the person that is trying to go in and make a career change. Again, check it out, guys. We've gotten a lot of students in a lot of good positions in companies right we don't teach coding as a hobby we make sure that everything that we put into our curriculum is something that's going to get you the maximum amount of results right from interviews to you getting hired right that's the goal i don't want you guys to sit in your house and have skills that no one is really giving you a chance all right definitely go check it out check out the hall of fame if you want to go in and say hey th does this work guess what go check out some of the stories here 
um, some of the people that wanted to share their story and their journey. And again, this is just a small amount of people that actually take their time to go in and share, you know, the journey on codingface.com. But we've gotten thousands of people into job positions. We've been doing this from 2017. We're in 2023 and we're going to continue doing this. Anyways, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Take care, guys. Peace.